the book Women, Religion, Violence, and Power. Uh, t tell us uh, about women. Things are contained in this book uh, that I was completely uh, ignorant about and am stunned uh, by what I know of uh, what is covered here. What, what is the source of this? Uh, the abuse of, of women, uh, essential slavery, human trafficking, on and on. Okay, well, it's the on and on. Thanks uh, for stopping by. Give me five here, folks. And uh, that was Jimmy Carter. He's making the rounds. He was on Letterman last night. And uh, uh, history, they're saying, was made uh, when uh, a guest on the David Letterman show used the words murdered and aborted in the same sentence. Watch. It's the worst human rights abuse on earth, and it's basically unaddressed. Uh, I'll start with the worst statistic that I know. And that is that 160 million girls are now missing from the face of the earth because they were murdered at birth by their parents or either selectively aborted when the parents find out that the fetus is a girl. So that's many people are missing, and they're all girls who are missing. Wow. That was uh, history-making, ladies and gentlemen. Now, David Letterman wasn't going to challenge that, wasn't going to say, what do you mean murdered or abor aborted at birth? Abortion's not murder. We know David Letterman believes that, or at least I believe he believes that, uh, but he let Jimmy Carter say what he had to say, but then he, um, he quickly kind of changed the subject. And how many countries represented in this? A good many uh, countries. Oh, I, I don't know how many parents in America would rather have a boy than a girl if they're very poor and they feel they can't support children. But, but in, uh, about 15 years ago, there was an accurate assessment in China, and 50 million were already missing there because the Chinese government had mandated one is best, two is most. Mm -hmm. And then India has had the same problem with them, and in many other countries as well. So now, for instance, in China and India and South Korea and some other countries, uh, young men can't find brides to marry. So they buy brides, and that increases the amount of slavery that exists on Earth. The slave trade now is much greater than it ever was in the 19th century. It amounts to about $32 billion a year. All right. Now, on another issue, uh, global warming and uh, the need to do uh, uh, anything they can to combat global warming, uh, they agree. Uh, former President Jimmy Carter and David Letterman do. Watch. But, but now it, it, it will take a global mandate to do anything about uh, climate change. Well, we should. You know, I go to China every year. I normalize relations with China, and I met with Xi Jinping four times, and so I go there every year. And my, think, my thinking is that the global warming is real and that the only way of ultimately to resolve it is for the United States and China to form a bilateral commitment with the United States, a very wealthy country and so forth, and with China suffering uh, as a developing nation with air and water, water pollution that's very bad. If, if our two great countries could get together and say, why don't we make these mutual concessions in my opinion, Europe and the rest of the world would go along with it. Yes. Okay, well, uh, now, now Letterman asks uh, the question which uh, exposes uh, his point of view. Watch. Now, do these two great countries possess this kind of wisdom? Well, it would have to be involving some things that would be very unpopular in the United States with the Congress, like, like a carbon tax, a tax on carbon that we put into the air, which would discourage that being done and move toward solar energy and others and, and the conservation of energy in all forms, but also it would result in the more efficient automobiles, more efficient house insulation, more efficient uh, refrigerators and stoves and so forth, and, and I think uh, a, 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 an effort both to, to produce alternative matters of energy, sources of energy, and also to conserve what we don't need. And, and the, the countries uh, that would do that, China, the United States, or whomever, yeah. would, would be heroes, really, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would be heroes. First of all, China and the developing nations would never go along with it. It would only be us. Uh, and boy, wouldn't be, we be heroes hitting Americans with another tax, raising energy costs through the roof so people couldn't afford it. That would, we would be heroes for a problem that is non-existent. Liberal mindset. Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax Television. The Steve